Hickok 45 here with one of my favorite rifles, the Arsenal Sam 7 SF. And we're going to do a chapter two with it. We've done a range two with it. We're going to do a chapter two right here. And we have a target rich environment. But I thought I'd start with a mag dump. I think I can do a mag dump in about maybe a second and a half. We're going to see. I mean, I have some real skills, you know. So let's see. <laughs> Hey, that was pretty fast, wasn't it? Didn't take long to empty that magazine. Actually, uh, I've become more reasonable in my old age and I, I just, uh, I feel like five rounds probably is enough, even for an AK. I just wanna be more reasonable about things. Didn't believe that, did you? How about 40 rounds? Sometimes 40 is not enough. <laughs> not for me, not when you're changing seasons. We're going from summer where watermelons are plentiful <laughs> to autumn, where pumpkins are plentiful. Look at that. Let's put a face on it. Oh, bad job. <laughs> All right, I got the eyes and nose at least. Let's shoot the stem off. Uh oh, I got that one. <laughs> it's a pumpkin rich environment. <laughs> Come on, get off there. I got him all. There's a little one. Let's take it out on him. In a pot. Uh, another pumpkin. <laughs> Click. Yes, the Arsenal uh, Sam 7 is uh, one of my very favorite AKs. And now I have it warmed up. I should have it warmed up. Let's see if the barrel's warm. A little warm. Okay. You notice I didn't hold it too long. Oh man. Chapter 2. Uh, I'm so glad now we have range two videos, we have chapter two videos, and we get to play with these things a little bit more because I have been, I don't know how many times I wanted to get this back out. And of course I do occasionally, but I was, you know, I'd love to do a shoot them up with it. And uh, let's just shoot the thing some more. And uh, so it qualifies for chapter two. And here we are just shooting, mainly shooting. Uh, I'll put a link to the first video with this firearm and, uh, and you can look in. There's also a range two video with it. Uh, ignore the fact I call them chapter twos in the video, some of the old ones, because they're range two videos. But, uh, you, so, you know, I talk about it in uh, at some depth, at least, about Arsenal, and I think about how they're put together, and uh, this is Bulgaria, made in Bulgaria. And uh, they do a good job. I have taken the easy way out on AKs. I've had some others, you've seen, but I finally decided to take the easy way out. It's not as clear cut as with AR-15s, to me. Uh, and I get a lot of questions about that. You know, what's the best AK for under 500, under 800, under 1,000, and all these different prices? I don't really know. I'm not, uh, I'm not an expert on anything, but I'm certainly not an expert on AKs. I know just enough to know that you almost cannot beat an arsenal unless it's a custom AK of some sort, okay? Probably, and I'm not sure where that would beat it uh, necessarily in the terms of reliability and all that, but, uh, the, you know, I'm not, not <laughs> selling arsenal, but, I, uh, I like them or I wouldn't have bought it. What was it, two, three years ago, I guess? And so, and I love the stock. I'm a fan of a, uh, of a folding stock like this, kind of a skeleton stock, if it's sturdy, if it's sturdy. Now, some of these stocks like this are pretty lame, okay? And this is not a Warsaw link. This is a NATO link stock too. That's the other thing I like about it. You know, it just, it fits really well. The only thing is, you know already, if you've seen her videos, I've got the, the Krebs peep sight I put on it. So I think I've replaced because uh, I like a ghost ring or peep sight on any rifle, tell you the truth. And so, uh, so much better than a standard AK sight. Oh man, uh, lots better. So anyway, uh, don't forget the people that help us. I'm gonna tell you about it. Well, I'm just gonna shoot it a little more. All right, we got a target rich environment. I've got probably all I need is loaded up here. And uh, I'm gonna pop some things if y'all don't mind. Mainly on chapter twos, I'm just shooting, inviting you all to come along. If you've never fired an AK, you need to. <laughs> Let's put a couple on the target. All right, Woo. see if they'll break a two liter. Yeah, careful, my steel in the background. <laughs> Nice, nice. I see a 12 ounce. Holy. 
Bowling for dollars. <laughs> Let's go over there and hit the red plate, uh, the big square one from shootsomesteel.com. Again, we appreciate uh, shootsomesteel.com helping us with targets. Nice having one there that doesn't fall down constantly on us. Let's try that middle one. Nice. I'll try the smallest one. Okay. I don't think I've really had to bear down with this thing for a while. Let's see where to hold. Go. I guess it goes left. That's probably me. I'm gonna try the. Well, let's see. I better not shoot anything else. Well, I can shoot the gong. Let's put one on the gong. <laughs> I just wanted to hear it ring. Now that it's AR 500, we can have more fun with this kind of thing. Oh, there's a little bit of sender activity over there. Uh, there's also an empty gun. <laughs> Look at that. That little thing's getting hot now. Oh boy, I I tend to like these Circle Ten mags. Uh, they're a little more expensive, but they work. Uh, I think the Magpul mags are are pretty good too. I've had some success with them. They uh, let's see, yeah, I've got one on the table. I haven't used them a lot lately. Uh, we tend to use them though in most AK videos. I think John used them ex uh, exclusively, or was it? Uh, yeah, let's see. I was thinking they're a little tight. No, that fits fine. Yeah, they work fine too. Yeah. All right. So, nice, nice rifle, no doubt about it. You know, this one, uh, the Sam 7, has the uh, extra safety. Some people, if you're a purist, you might not like it you know, over here where it'll uh, decock, you know, it's kind of weird, but it, it will, if you've got it on the safe, rather, it'll, you can knock the safety off with that lever. So, that, that's kind of, you know, I tend to forget it and don't use it, put it on safe here. Because you, you pull on it, you can't push. It would be more natural if you pushed it and the safety went off, then I'd use it more probably. But uh, that's just about the only thing that's uh, uh, significantly different on this one than in the folding stock. So, uh, boom. I think, don't think I've ever had a malfunction. Imagine that with an AK. And don't expect to. Uh, but it might happen with this magazine. And uh, if it does, I'll mark the magazine because I will blame it on the magazine probably. So uh, yeah, these are these are sweet. This is uh, probably one of the most desirable AKs on the market. They're not cheap. Uh, it has a milled receiver, which is not necessary. You know, we've talked about that in some other AK videos. Uh, it's I, I kind of wanted one with a milled receiver. Is one reason I got this. To tell you the truth, and I like that folding stock. Picked one up in a gun shop somewhere. I just really like the feel of it and the, how it's solid and it's long enough and, and all that. And I had never owned one, I guess, myself with a uh, with a milled receiver. I thought, well, that'd be something interesting for a change. But I'm not I'm not promoting like a, the milled receiver necessarily over the stamp receiver. They're both really really good and both work. And uh, I don't know that there's that much difference really. Okay. Uh, that's just, uh, but it's kind of neat to have one like that uh, for variety's sake. And uh, it's pretty cool. Now, some people like to have wood furniture on these things, and they do look good. They, they look, you know, traditional and classic and all that kind of thing. But, and then people get all upset about what you call these things. I don't know. It's kind of like a 1911 in my mind, some ways. If it's a 1911 stop gun, it's a 1911. And, and I know I call these things AK 47s sometimes. And of course, everybody knows this is not an AK 47. Hadn't been an AK 47 for a long time. It's AKM, it's not a 40. I, I tend to think of them, though, anything that fires this round as more of an AK 47. You know, because of the 762 by 39, that's really what I mean by that. If I say AK-47, I guess. So, anyway, what's in a name? As my friend Bill said, a rose by any other name still smells as sweet. Speaking of smells as sweet, let's smell a little more gunpowder. How's that? Glad you could come to the range today and uh, enjoy this baby with me. Nothing like an AK 
Oh, I love that sound, don't you? <laughs> let's shoot that stop sign. <laughs> no, let's don't. It's a rifle round, even though it's an intermediate rifle round. Okay, and it's a little close for that. Let's, uh, let's go back over there and see if I can hit that little plate. Now that the barrel's cooled off. Nice trigger. Try the middle one. And the left one. You can see it's swinging that plate. Uh, that's a fairly heavy uh, square plate from shoot some steel. And uh, so the old AK round hits pretty hard. No doubt about that. Well, we've got some uh, 12 ounces there on the main stand, don't we? Let's see. What a mess. <laughs> what a mess. That bowling pin's about shot, I think. Yeah, no pun intended. And these pumpkins. Let's put whatever we have left in the barrel here and just throw some brass. Okay. <laughs> Stir up a little dust. How's that? So, generally speaking, when she quits firing, you can assume it's empty with an AK. It's probably not a what? Probably not a malfunction. Why would that be? because it's an AK. They're not really, it's one thing they're not very good at, and that is malfunctioning. They have generally just not mastered that, uh, that uh, talent, you know, probably because they don't get enough practice at it because they tend to work, they tend to work. So, nice, nice rifle. Uh, it's, it's, one, it's one of those, you know, everybody has whatever, if you have a, uh, gun collection of any size at all you probably have three or four rifles you just never want to let go and three or four handguns you could never let go others you know eh, i could trade that if i just really really wanted something else you know worse and that sort of thing but of, of all the ak's i own i would probably keep this one well i just have a couple but uh, this would be my last one to go my second one to go i just said i have two right uh pretty cool pretty cool uh, and again a little lecture here uh, it looks evil, right? Well, mine's not, you know, mine's not at all. They're, they're just fun to shoot. The round is fun to shoot if you've never fired one of these. This 762 by 39 is, uh, again, an intermediate rifle round. You can tell by looking at it. It's not nearly as big as a 308, uh, but it's got some punch, and uh, it's comfortable in terms of recoil. There are several bolt guns now bolt action rifles you know chamber for that you saw one here recently with that ruger ranch rifle and uh you know they're just they're just fun to shoot they're a, they're a classic you know you know me i love historical firearms well what's more iconic than this baby right here you know an ak even though it's not technically an ak-47 okay but uh just cool uh the way they work the way they sound the way they both operates and uh this one has a good trigger and they're more accurate than most people give them credit, all right? Uh, depends on what kind of accuracy you're looking for. So, uh, all right, so I've sold you an AK, right? But uh, pretty cool, the old uh, Sam 7 SF from Arsenal. It's one of the good ones. There are more being made now uh, that are really quality AKs out there. So, you know, search around. You don't have to get an Arsenal to know you've got a good AK, I don't think. Uh, but uh, it, it's one of the good ones, okay? And again, that little note on the site, uh, if you have eyes, you have trouble focusing on like SKS or AK rear sights, because they're similar, uh, if not the same, then that's an option. You know, putting a peep sight back there, ghost ring sight from somebody. That one happens to be Krebs. I don't know, Williams might make one. I'm not sure who all does, but uh, pretty cool. So I guess I let you go. You, you showed up and you paid attention for the most part. So we appreciate you coming and uh, appreciate you supporting the people who help us out and uh, behave yourselves. Life is good. 
Oh man, you guys watched that whole video? Well, not one to judge, but while you're here, I wanted to let you guys know about our friends over at SDI, the Sonoran Desert Institute. They're a fully accredited online distance learning program. They offer hands-on experience. They also accept GI Bill. You can get certified in gunsmithing or get an associate's degree in firearms technology. So check them out when you get a chance over at sdi.edu. Also, uh, some of the new targets you may have noticed on our range are from shootsomesteel.com. So maybe give their website a look. And also um, the vault safe that you might have seen on our shooting table. You can check those out at vault Also, don't forget to check out our website, uh, hickok45.com. You can find all of our links to the different uh, social media sites that you can find us on, like full30.com, um, the real Hickok45 on Twitter, I mean on uh, Instagram, Hickok45 on Twitter, uh, Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also the Hickok45 and Sun YouTube channel. Um, so just go to the website and you'll find most of that stuff and our t-shirts, of course. Um, you can find our, all of our merchandise for sale there on Hickok45.com. And man, I guess you guys are gonna have to find something else to watch on YouTube because that's it. That's all I have to say. Appreciate it.